Welcome everybody to the Shelby Exacts YouTube channel. We've got a new addition to the family. You guys are gonna think it's probably pretty stupid. I actually think it might be pretty stupid. Even the dogs are up there laughing at me. Dang, thanks. But without further ado, let's check out my OBS 1995 Ford F-250 with 350 springs on it, 7.3 diesel. There it is. Just kidding. That's a sport chassis. Here it is. The OBS 1995 Ford F-250 Power Smoke. So I bought this off of a website called bringatrailer.com. If you guys haven't been there, don't go because you'll end up bidding against me. Because much like when eBay came out, it's a bit like crack. Now, Bring, Bring a Trailer's been out for years. It's something that Jay Leno's promoted and other guys. But I tell you what, if everybody on bringatrailer.com represents their vehicle, as well as the company that I bought this from, which is Denworks Auto, which is out in Salem, Oregon. Uh, talk to Jason there. I'll put a link in the description as well. But he put a video out on this. I'll put the video link in the description as well. But he did a fantastic job of underselling this truck. A lot of times what you see when you go to buy one of these older vehicles is that they are grossly overrepresented and then you are terribly disappointed when you receive it. But this was underrepresented. It showed up. It looks better than it did. It does have some dirt and stuff on it, but it was perfectly immaculate clean but it just rained a few minutes ago here in michigan as you can see the moisture on the ground but this is it why the hell did you buy this thing ryan i don't know no i do know i wanted i had been looking at c10s and k20s and i'm still looking at them um because this thing is a hoot to drive i know it's stupid it's an automatic and it's diesel it's not real fast but there's something about driving a vehicle like this that has been so well preserved and so well done that it takes you literally back to 1995, which is a year after I graduated high school. Yeah, I'm that old, kids. 44 years old, isn't that something else? But look at the condition of this thing. It's immaculate. I mean, literally everywhere. Even the carpets like are barely, this is just the mat that looks wanky but there's just a slight discoloring that shows up on the camera. I can't see that with my eye. Standing right here, that all looks like one color. It's just showing up in the camera, it's different. The seats look like they've never been sat in. Yes, they're cloth, but I don't care because we have a three-way bench seat. That's right, she's a six passenger, even with only two doors on her. But it is a 7.3 diesel. The dash is absolutely immaculate. It looks as good in person right now as it's coming through on the camera because I can kind of see it through the viewfinder deal here. But um, power windows, power locks. It came with the fifth wheel. The body is absolutely perfect. I mean, there's, there's a little schmutzies on it. That's actually just sap. But not much in the way of scratches, dings, dents, nothing. You can see where a guy had, this is like the most common thing in the world. I wonder what did that. Dum Dum didn't lower his tailgate when he pulled away from his fifth wheel. And then I didn't have it five freaking minutes, took it down to the old car wash and broke the mirror off it. <laughs> yep, I'm stupid. I love the big black wall tires. It is a two wheel drive truck and I bought a two wheel drive truck for two reasons. One, because I don't want to drive this in the winter. And primarily for this reason right here. That was my uh, shoe squeaking, I didn't fart. But the cab corners on this thing are perfect, both sides. No step bars, this is stock, just the way she came from the factory, just the way Henry Ford intended, by God. But we got a nice E5, Hitcherino. We have F350 leaf springs. If you'd think it'd ride like dog snot, but it doesn't. It has two fuel tanks that are about 16 to 18 gallons a piece. So you can get 
you know a fair amount of fuel in there and it's diesel so she'll she's not rolling coal yet but by god she will because what do you do with a perfect condition 1995 truck other than chip it tune it and make it into a drag truck yeah i'm gonna do that why not as long as you guys don't object this is just schmutz but other than that i mean the thing's freaking perfect i do have my my covid gut going on we uh, backtracked a little bit on our weight loss program over COVID because really there wasn't anything to do. Well, you guys know, we just sat around, ate plague cards, and watched Netflix. Just like the rest of you. Tiger King. But unlike the Tiger King, we will financially recover from this. All right, so we're going to go for a little, little cruise, if you guys don't mind. It does have some power seat arrangements here. I don't really know what they all do yet. Nothing. All right, that's been done. That does the same thing. I want that back to go up because I'm short. All right, so she got power seats. We will, if Mullet took the keys out, God bless it, Mullet. All right, so Mullet's doing his hair. We are gonna take a look under the hood and then we will take it for a ride with Mullet and see what we got so pop the hood there's really what the hell oh <laughs> it's over there dumb dumb all right so this is kind of a two-handed job she said uh okay uh that's a trick of being a youtuber you know you just got to kind of figure out how you're gonna okay oh there we go now we're cooking with oil Look at that guy just as clean as a freaking whistle direct injection and it's a die cell which is always good you want you like decent die cells but look at this thing it's just freaking mint and i don't mean zip tie bias pies fucking mint this is really minty it's a seven tree seven tray seven tree. even the freaking trunk or the hood light the works well it's a it's trunk ferrari it, if it was, this is a rear mid-engine oh. model. Is that the biggest dipstick I've ever, or hood prop I've ever seen in my life right there? No, that's true. That's a jack. That's a jack. Is it a Mihoff one? A Mihoff? Yeah, Jack Mihoff. Jack Mihoff. <laughs> Jack's right here. Just guess you're going to be a flat tire. In, in your, case you need a lift. Your wrench is right there. That's a weird place to put it, isn't it? Is yours like that? You guys see this? Big. This is Rodney. Oh, it's got a block heater, dude. We're winning. Should I have it? Oh, when did Ford start doing that? Now no, they put them under the rear stupid, seat. Though. Yeah, it's rooted. Like it's hot. Yeah, it's very. Hot. That's what I was just thinking. Like that hood props, hot as shit. Here's Allie's big whistling diesel looking light blue setup shit going on. Plus, look at that big downpipe. Good lord. Where's that thing going? Yeah. Somewhere down to the turbs key. Oh, intercooler. Oh, she's got a rip raft. Yeah. And she just ordered a five inch exhaust for it. That'll be here next week. Softballs. Sweet. Five inch exhaust. Let's roll some coal. I don't need that. Yes, we put this in. We should roll coal in that one though. Look at that little guy come on. Heeny. Oh, I didn't like that. No, not really, did it? This is just schmutzy. That's gonna come off tomorrow. It uh, it was clean, wasn't it, Mullet? Yeah. Oh yeah! Well, I can tell I haven't sat in this last. No, me. No, oh, that would be you, Ding Ding. Did you put this in? Do you have the keys? I got them. I went and grabbed them because somebody brought them inside. Yeah, you know, people like to steal stuff. I'm supposed to do it while you're not the keys. Oh, we don't live in a big city where there's a bunch of looting going on. Just go. Wow. Velcro. Wait to start. Velcro. Ooh, that's premium. Oh shit, it's humid. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. I love the sound of the 7 3. <laughs> it's like a typewriter. Is it? Well, let's try reverse on, on for size, eh? The lights work? Yeah. 
get out of town. Yeah. Look at that. You have to go to the left to turn them off. Yeah, it's a little backwards. Yeah. Did I just run over something? No. We still have to figure that out. Ooh, no backup camera. That's a little weird. Look at me being spoiled by a backup camera. That's so anti-redneck. What did you put the steering wheel up to the moon, dude? Did that song, you know, oh, me. all right, I got you. I feel you. Oh man! Ah, crank that up, dude. Oh, Air blows so cold. Good. But she drives nice, doesn't it? Uh huh. Smooth as silk. That's park. Deal with you millennials locking the damn doors. Freaking agenda. Understand you guys at all. Best part. Oh yeah, we got smoker windows. In the actual. I know that's pretty slick. Don't break it off. No, oh, we can ignore this part though. Oh, yeah, I had it. I I covered that earlier in the video. <laughs> it really didn't work out very good. All I did was run it through the car wash, and the freaking mirror decided it was gonna vacate. Exit the premises. He is vaporized. She just turned into vapor, man. I looked over there, she gone. There's the big trailer. I haven't shown these guys that yet, but that's the... Well, let's not go there, mullet. All right. Noisy ass diesel. But this, this has a lift in it and some other shit, right? Yep. Big toolbox. Big tool, but huge. Yeah, big, big pit box. We got to get that out this weekend. We'll show our YouTube friends the pit box. Like this feels good. Like I'm hanging out with old friends right now. Just for a minute. I mean, we haven't done a video in how long? A month. All right. Well, wait for something interesting. You guys just hang. Unless you guys just want to hang out and talk, we can hang out and talk. It's a little bit of a one-sided conversation, but yeah. try to bring mullet around. Then I, do, I don't look stupid talking to my phone. Well, I told Tammy, I was like, low-key, Ryan likes to talk to himself, and that's why he records it. You're not lying. <laughs> YouTubers kind of like that. I get along with myself just fine. <laughs> it's when other people get involved, I kind of have a problem. We got snapping turtles are doing their deal where they come out of the river, and then they dig holes in your yard right side down side. to the gravel yes. or the side of the road. Is that what he was doing? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Wayne was standing out here with his AR-15. Assuming that one's probably why he's cooking. Like hey, did you get one? <laughs> what you growing? Dang it! <laughs> Let me know when you get him. I'll make some soup. <laughs> I mean, look at the headliner. See that? It's pitch black. School map lights. Look at them. Real friggin'. I feel like perfectly round there. Oh, look at, yeah, they are. It's cool. It's like looking at your hand. It's like a perfect circle. Look at that. Yeah, you guys are easily amused, aren't you? But it's the old school, uh, like, cast. These were, like, in every car for 100 years. Oh, I thought the headliner was perfect, but we do have a little... It's supposed to be that. Aerodynamics. Yeah. yeah, it's stock. Like, she gets it. a big-ass snapper down there. Really? Yes. All right. Circling around? <laughs> it's a big one. This thing turns like a battleship. Here we go. Where is he at? All right, so we were just talking about that. That is a big mofo. See that dark spot out there? That is 100% herd liquor. Can he jump? I hope not. You look prehistoric, dude. Sorry, we are a bit like a squirrel. I'll let this fuck face go by with right now, Sonny. We'll get the old number 77 Camry out and show her how to go. 
See, and right here, we're just gonna stop right here by God on this bridge. Fuck it, we're done. You shut it off? Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with this. Just leaving it? Yeah, I'm done with it. So right here is beautiful Michigan. Isn't that pretty? That is kind of a, a little way down there. Ooh. Oh, do that again. You got a little spitter. Yeah, if you got to count to five before it hits the ground, that's a problem. What? What a beast. Then you go over to this side. I tell you what, one of the things that's come out of this whole COVID thing, at least for me and my family, is just spending time doing shit like this. Mullet's a little impatient. He's like, all right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> really? Let's see what we got here. Mullet's found himself a... Oh, my God. That's satisfying. That makes me happy a little bit, doesn't it? It's like memory foam. Wow, look at... Actually, look at... Watch me sink. Oh yeah, hang on, we got a car coming. All right, let's go over. <laughs> YouTube video laugh right there. I should probably invest in one of those gyros where you get smooth camera. What a beaut. Here with that guy. What a gorgeous view. If you guys have not gotten outside to enjoy nature during this whole COVID thing, you really missed a good opportunity. Go forward just a little bit. So cool. you know, now we got a disc golf course, Frisbee golf. Trails all over the place. People with freaking race cars. Giant, burnouts. giant burnouts. I don't know who does that. Kind of activity around here. And chair stuff. Oopsie. I had nothing to do with it. No. No, no, no. Oh, you look good. Right at home with this thing. I like the room in here. The greenhouse is awesome. I mean, you can just see everywhere out of this thing. Fishbowl. Fishbowl. What a beaut. I could not be happier. So remember guys, bringatrailer.com and stop by Fallsburg Park and make sure you give money to the Fallsburg Historic Society because that's what keeps this park nice. Sure. So for Mullet and I, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. What else do you want to do? Do a burnout. Should we do a burnout in the new truck? Do it right now. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Norm is telling me sucks at AC and Max is awesome.